Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is 8.22 a.m. I am headed to church. I haven't been to church in a while, so I'm excited to, to go and just pray. I've got a lot of things to pray about. Um, I feel like I attract negativity and I've got to clear it. I need to clear it. I already, I've researched like sage burning. Uh, you guys know how it is. Just sometimes you get around negative people and it like wears on you. That's what I need in my life. Some, some positive vibes. So we are going to sit down and we're going to pray to God is what we're going to do this morning. Um, my house is clean, which is great. I put out my family football friends pumpkin football front door thing, which is exciting. But I didn't put any of my other fall decor out. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm kind of not ready, even though it's like 68 degrees outside, which makes me really, really happy. I feel like it's just not not the time yet, but. What I wanted to say is we're going to church. The plan for today is my kids are going to go see the Lion King with Cody's um, with Cody's mom. And then they're gonna pick up Incepted and they're gonna pick up pizza and bring it back to our house and we're gonna have dinner together. Oh, I didn't think I have sunglasses. And then call it a Sunday. So I'm rushing to church, of course. I'm like not on time at all. And I'll see you guys uh, when I get out. What is that? I am out of church. Somebody I hate. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. Shouldn't say hate. I'm saying hate. I'm out of church. Who put something on my windshield wiper? Why? Why do you do that? So if you guys saw my post yesterday, I've recorded this portion of it so many different times because I want to say like what I'm conveying gently without throwing any particular person under the bus or school because I don't want to my I don't want to do that um however 32 year old Erica would have said nothing and thrown this little pamphlet away that I got after church 33 year old Erica has one goal in mind this year and that is just being able to speak because I spent 32 years listening to rubbish and people and things and not speaking up for myself and um, this year is a little bit different. Um, their whole thing is they tr convert Roman Catholics that have been deceived by the church into is it evangelistic evangelist I think it's evangelist I don't I don't even know um, I, I read I read the website I did a little bit of research uh, the reason that it comes a little bit too soon for me is because there is a priest that is facing allegations at a sister brother parish close to us it's actually the parish that me and Cody got married at and the reason that I feel involved is because the priest that has allegations against him was a musical director when I went to grade school so I feel a little bit um, slightly burned a little bit. So like this, the timing of this is um, probably perfect in their eyes, but very wrong in my eyes. Yep. I just felt, this is how I felt. I left church feeling bad and that should never happen. You shouldn't go to a place of worship feel bad on your way out and then feel even worse when you see a pamphlet like this that makes you second guess your religion and second guess what you're doing it, that that should never happen because that's not the reason why i go to church i go to church you hear him he's opening up and closing the door i go to church to talk to god and to pray and you just shouldn't leave church feeling bad. You should not feel bad about yourself for whatever religion that you choose. Even if you don't believe in anything, that is your belief system and you should not feel bad at all about it. And the second that you feel bad, it's time to like get some sage and cleanse your soul because we all need soul cleansing. Uh, just brings me back to when politics was all 
judgy and I felt bad about being a Republican. So my kids are off to the movies. I am here in front of Family Dollar. I really should learn how to drive. I'm pretty sure I'm in four parking spots. Um, not intentionally, but because I just don't know how to drive. Uh, so that's good, but I turned the car off, so I'm like committed. We're gonna go inside though. I have a list of various things that we need to, that we need to pick up. So I'm gonna go look for these and I will see you guys when I get back out. I also wanna get a little bone. I probably should add that to this list. Like a bone, like a bone bone, like a real bone. Okay, I'm going inside. Cody is right now in the garage. She's actually pressure washing the floor and the walls and got rid of a bow flex and did all kinds of things. I'm trying to think, he always gets rid of my possessions. It is 3.34. I am not really sure what I'm gonna do for the next like hour before my kids get back home. I'm sure they're probably enjoying The Lion King. Part of me wants to take the post down on Facebook. I don't want it to sound as if I am complaining. I want to hurt other people's feelings, so I might just go ahead and delete it because I don't want it to take the wrong way. Like, you know, like I'm complaining when people have, you know, cancer, you know, people are dying. I don't want to, I don't want to be like that. Um, but I also don't like, you know, I just, I'm too much in my emotions today and it's just the wrong day. It's a wrong day, day. You know, you know, okay. I am going to go though, but I just want to let you know how I'm feeling. If you don't see that post, it's because I took it down. Also, side note, now that I'm thinking about it, I also need like an English lesson because me and grammar and spelling and life in general, it's been a while. I need like a refresher course of like A and AN and reading in general. Okay, back to daily life. I was just thinking that just in case you're wondering. Another reason is I noticed some grammatical errors and I was like, hmm, Erica, that's not right. That's not, mm -mm. that's, mm -mm. So if you ever see my stuff and he has grammatical errors, A, tell me in a nice way. Don't be like a loser and, you know, be mean about it. Um, yep, tell me in a nice way and then hopefully I get a crash course one of these days because I think I like slept in fourth grade when we learned all of that. And I think I've got a college degree. Okay. Here you go, guys. Jet, come over here. Catch this. Watch out for the dog poop. He's <laughs> a good artist. Hi, everybody. We are here with Cody's mom and stepdad. We're actually looking at the condos that he is building. Isn't that exciting? That's how we're spending our Sunday evening, which is like perfect. But I wanted to just give you an update. I will be back in a little bit. Good evening, everyone. It is now 8.02. I am going to wrap up this vlog. It's been a nice little week for me. I wish all the weekends were like this. I do need to figure out how to get channel 12 on my old rabbit ears. Um, you guys know I cut the cable and I can't figure out. Let me know if you guys know how to broadcast football. I don't want to spend $100 buying. I looked into like the NFL ticket. However, you have to have direct TV. At least that's my understanding. I like typed in my area code for something and it told me that I wasn't eligible. But um, or I typed in maybe my address and it was like, no. I don't know. You guys tell me if you know how to broadcast your local football other than rabbit ears, unless maybe I buy like an extender. I'm just not quite in range. I'm like on the cusp of the range and it's not picking up upstairs, it used to. Maybe that's like a tactic that the cable companies use to try to keep you on their side. But if you guys know 
how to broadcast football in a house that is mainly just streaming, let me know. I'm sure, I'm, you know, I should probably just text my brother. I probably should. Um, he probably knows how to do all that kind of stuff. I'm new to the whole streaming thing, as you can tell. But I wanted to say goodnight to you guys before I wrap up my little Sunday vlog. Um, there's only two more vlogs left of this month. And then I will probably, the next time I'll see you guys, unless we do something really interesting. Unless I have an interesting day, I guess it will probably be the first day of school. Which is coming up really, really soon. I've got to get my kids new school shoes. All right, I am going to go. I'll see you guys nice, bright, and early tomorrow morning. Have a great Monday. 